But Paul Callum by the squad are coming back together for the first team game this Saturday, an exciting one against Sheffield Wednesday. And you're fit. How pleased are you to be back? Yeah, no, um, I'm pleased to come back. I'm like, I've been out since, I think, five or six weeks. Um, so I was pleased to train literally with the team. Um, and then, obviously, excited for the game on Saturday. And how much of the behind-the-scenes people helped you, the medical team? Yeah, like, team, Tim helped me loads, like, just keep me positive. Um, and with his training and the rehab, the programme he gave me, so I was gaining confidence every week throughout my rehab. Uh, mentally as well, it helped me a lot. Like we got to know each other even more. Um, so I think in that way, <clears throat> I'd like to thank him um, for that because the work that he's done with me, no one sees it. They just see it on the pitch and you're fit, but so much goes into it in the background. So yeah, that was great. How difficult was it that you know you start the season, you get opportunities in the team, you're playing well, you score, and then injury happens. Yes, yeah, unfortunate. Um, nothing much you can do about it. It's just one of those things you can't avoid. But for me, my main thing has always been the team. So when I have to play, I'm caught up on. I'll do everything, give the team a hundred percent. Then if someone else is playing, then you think what's next. So you just got to encourage. Um, so as long as the team is doing well, I'm happy with it. And obviously, I'm gonna play my part if I'm playing. And if I'm not, I'm still gonna play my part because we're all in it together. So, yeah, I was doing well, got injured, um, but got back up. I'm back now, so I'm excited. It's great to have you back. Yeah, talk us through what your Saturday has entailed while you've been out. Yeah, when well, I've been out off most Saturdays, I'll go um, watch the game if we're at home. Um, away, I'll just listen to the games because you can't watch it. And, yeah, I'll just always give feedback to the players um, if... We come back in training ground and we do analysis. I'm like, yeah, I was watching the game. Could have done this better. Could have done better. Um, obviously, always learning from it because you always like put yourself in the, someone else's position because as they're playing, you can learn one or two things from them. So it was quite interesting. Like I became more of an analysis type of guy than the player. Okay. Um, so in that aspect, it quite it helps quite a lot. So yeah. So Does it make sense. you think about coaching in the future? A long time ahead. To be fair. Definitely, I think I'll be, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna look into that, but I've got plenty of years to go until then. Not, not after listening to his radio performances, not following in the footsteps of your colleague here, Rob, or the, the commentary you've been listening to. No, honestly, it was great when Dapo scored away. It was like, yeah, and Dapo goes through and it's a goal. I was yeah. like, yes, great. Um, no, nah, so it's good. It was good, like recognizing the voice, and obviously, I was taking it in. I was literally trying to picture it as he was talking yeah. about what's going on. Um, well, that's good. And you, your last win was an appearance, you scored your first club goal. What about when you scored for the academy? Tell us about that, it's still fresh in your mind. It's really yeah, nice. Come on, Tommy! Come on, Tommy! Come on, Tommy! Come on, Tommy! Come on, had this thing where I'm like, so Robo, if you need a striker, like, honestly, put me out there, I'll do the job. So I think it was one of our last games we needed a goal. Um, last 10, he put me out there, it's our like, PK, I'll then. So I went, um, last, I think it was last minute, um, I told Tino before, a player that we had before, I'm like, listen, if I make that run, just put it in, I'll get in. So then I made a run, he crossed it, got in, scored a winner. Wow. And you literally had the 16s, 18s, everyone just going mad down the line. Wow. It was a great feeling, so yeah, um, I'll try to replicate that at the first team level as much as I can. Of course, and we've seen you know, Will Nightingale, who unfortunately has had that injury, you'll feel for him, but he perhaps showed what can be done when you get, in that, you know, you get that sense of scoring goals, you can keep on scoring, that's what he did. Yeah, no, Will's a great player, like, led by example as well defensively and obviously contributing with the goals. So it's like we set ourselves targets as defenders and he was literally two away from his target, so... Unfortunately, got injured, and honestly, I did not wish rehab on anyone. I know how hard it is, and I've been through it, and I know he's been through it a lot. So we just tried to support him as a group, um, and wish him all the best with his recovery. Um, but yeah, no, nah, right. So unfortunately, that's happened because he was having a great season. Honestly, I was having a great season. That's the best I've seen him, and I've been it for so long. Um, 
things like that do happen, so I was just waiting for him to come back and yeah, it was just can't wait. How's your FIFA game and career going after that clash with the professional game last year? After that I retired. <laughs> I retired, I can't play the game anymore. Really? Yeah, it's mental health now, it's too hard. It's too hard. Yeah. Fair enough, he was good though, wasn't he? Yeah, that was good as a professional player, so yeah, yeah. what can I do? And um just looking into your history, your first team debut was actually just over four years ago at Barnes. Yeah. Does that seem a long time ago now? Well, yeah, that's yeah, that's a long, long time. Um, I don't. Know, to be fair, I do remember it. Um, born it away, yeah, we bought. Yeah, no, that's a very long time. Um, that long. Yeah. Yeah. Does it sum up how, how much a part of this journey you've been with the club in a way? Because you've been, you've made, I think. 60 odd first team appearances now? Yeah, um, for me personally, the club is going in the right direction. And for me, as long as I keep seeing that progress, it's like I want to be here somewhere you want to be. Um, somewhere where you can always learn with a manager that believes in you and challenges you. I think that brings the best out of every single one of the players. Yeah. So it's like seeing the progress within the years and how far we've come and where we're still yet to get to makes me excited and I think loads of the players as well are excited about it especially if you've been here in the academy and seen it all like things are changing so all we can do is replicate on the pitch and then hopefully we can all be one big massive group and just help each other out to achieve what we want to achieve. Let's hope so and um, obviously when you come through the academy you hear the story about you know how far the club has come and now what's it like to be playing in front of full crowds at Plough Lane? Yeah like in academy playing at Plough Lane we saw it as a myth because they're literally telling us, oh yeah, don't worry, the new stadium's coming this year. It's like, oh, but when's the new stadium coming? It's like, oh, no, it's coming, it's coming, yeah. don't worry, it's coming. So the first time playing at Plough Lane, we're like, oh my day, it's like, it's happened, like, we're literally here. And we had Will Knight, um, Will um, Harty, like, loads of academy players play at Plough Lane after hearing about the story since they were young. So for me, like, it's just showing what's happening at the club now, like, we're just moving in the right direction, new stadium now, players who want to play for the club and believe in the story of the club, um, as you know, it's the greatest story of football, so we're trying to carry it on, and yeah, I think it's great.